brilliant light. What's going on there? It must be a huge star. Actually, that's not a star. That is called the Big Bang. That sounds cool. Tell me more. It all started around 13.8 billion years ago when a sudden bang started expanding and stretching the universe. And it is still stretching. This is called the Big Bang Theory. How did it start? In the beginning, it started out as a hot, dense point similar to a supercharged black hole. This was also when matter, time, space, and energy were created. What happened in the Big Bang? In the Big Bang, there are two key stages, the radiation era and the matter era. Crazy names, what happened then? The first stage was the radiation era. This was when the expansion of the universe was dominated by the effects of radiation. During this time, there were eight epochs, or substages, the Planck, Grand Unified, Inflationary, Electroweak, Quark, Hadron, Lepton, and Nuclear Stages. Radiation does sound absolutely radical, but what about the Matter Era? The next key stage is what we call the Matter Era. And as you can tell from the title itself, this was when matter was created. The three epochs or substages of this era were called the Atomic, Galactic, and Stellar Epochs. In these substages, Quarks, which is a type of matter, combine together to form neutrons and protons. Neutrons and protons connected to make nuclei and made the first ever element, helium. That's pretty impressive if I do say so myself. You bet. You can do this yourself at home. Take a balloon and draw two dots on it, or more if you like. Then blow the balloon up and see how quickly and far away from each other the dots get. They look a lot tinier too. That's how you can model how the Big Bang created matter and ricocheted it all across the universe, down to the smallest quarks.